Hello, Ala White County parents. My name is Laura Cummings, and I am the Ala White County Schools Instructional Coordinator for Response to Intervention. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a program we use called Renaissance Star 360. As you may know, we use star assessments to help teachers understand what students know and are ready to learn. Students take star tests once in the fall, winter, and spring, and teachers typically give this test while students are in school. Because some of us are currently unable to be at school, those students will be taking the STAR 360 assessments at home. Soon, our fall testing will be underway and your child's teacher will be, will be reaching out to schedule a time for the assessments your child will need to take. Students will take a combination of the STAR math, STAR reading, or STAR early literacy assessments. Your child's teacher will monitor your child while they take the test using a Zoom session. An adult should be available during this testing time to help your child log in and ensure they are on task and trying their best. However, we ask that you avoid helping your child answer test questions. The best help is no help. Next, let's watch a short video that will explain in more detail what STAR assessments are, how you can prepare your child for the assessment, and how to assist your student with the login process. As you may already know, your school uses STAR assessments to help teachers understand what students know and what they are ready to learn next. These assessments are given throughout the year to monitor student progress and are typically administered at school. However, schools are making plans for administering the test remotely as well. This video is intended to help you and your child understand and feel comfortable with the remote testing process. Here, We'll provide information about what STAR assessments are, preparation tips to get you started, and steps to help students log into the software. STAR assessments are computer adaptive tests for K-12 students that measure reading, math, and early literacy skills. Computer adaptive tests mean that they will adjust based on students' responses. If your child answers a question correctly, the next one will be more difficult. If he or she answers incorrectly, the next will be easier. Students will see challenging items they may not be able to answer. It's okay when this happens. It is important that students test independently and try their best so teachers have the results they need to plan instruction that best meets the needs of your child. STAR assessments are not pass-fail and they will not impact your child's grade. They are designed to be only one piece of information your child's teacher uses to determine what students are ready to learn. To provide the best testing experience and results, please consider the following tips. Ensure your child is well rested and has a good breakfast. Provide a quiet spot at a table or desk that is free from distractions. Students taking STAR math can use paper and pencil to solve problems, but should not use calculators. Students taking STAR early literacy should use headphones for the assessment. Students should complete the test independently. While your natural instinct may be to help your child when they are stuck, know that the best way to help is to encourage them to select the answer they think is best and move on to the next question. Stay nearby where your student is testing to ensure they remain focused, but avoid hovering and distracting. Now, let's walk through the login process. Students have likely taken a STAR assessment in the past and are familiar with the test. But helping students feel comfortable with a remote testing process is still important. By adhering to the following recommendations, you are helping teachers gather important data that enables them to create more meaningful learning opportunities for your child. Students can take the test on any school-approved device with an internet connection. If your school uses a single sign-on portal for all of the apps your student uses, simply log into that portal and select the Renaissance app. If your school does not use a single sign-on portal, open a web browser and go to the Renaissance link provided by your school or district. On the login page, select I'm a student. Enter the student username and password and then select Login. Now, select the assigned assessment. If prompted, enter the monitor password provided by your school. Remember, once the test begins, 
The best help for your student is no help. If they get stuck on a question, simply encourage them to choose the answer they think is best and move on. When the student completes the assessment, they will see a pop-up screen that states, congratulations, you finished the test. The student logs out of the test by simply clicking on OK. For more information about STAR assessments, visit the parent website at www.renaissance.com or contact your child's teacher or school. Now that you know a little bit more about the purpose of the STAR 360 assessments, let's discuss in more detail the logging in process. As mentioned in the video, Alawite County Schools now uses a single sign-on portal, which is clever. In order for your child to log in to take the test, they will first need to access Clever, where they will use either their login credentials, their username and password, or their QR code for the Clever portal. If the student is using a QR code, they will first need to activate the camera on their device by clicking on the Allow button, and then hold their QR code in front of the camera. Once students are in Clever, they should scroll down to the Assessments and Testing banner, where they will see the Renaissance Learning icon shown here, and they should click on the icon. Next, your student will choose which assessment to take per their teacher's direction, either the STAR Math, STAR Reading, or in some cases, the STAR Early Literacy Assessment. To start the test, students will be given a series of practice questions, which is primarily meant to gauge the student's ability to work with the program itself, basically to see if a student understands how to select and enter an answer. Once the student answers three questions correctly, the student will move on to the real test. If the student fails to answer three questions correctly, the session ends and the test will not start for that student. If that occurs, let the student's teacher know and discussions and decisions will be made on how to proceed. After the student answers their three questions correctly, the teacher will inform the class what the monitor password is for the day. Once that password is entered, the student will click the start button and the assessment will begin. So let's talk a little bit about the assessments themselves. Both the STAR Math and STAR Reading Assessment will contain 34 questions for students to answer. While the test is not timed, the questions are. Students have three minutes to answer math questions and anywhere between a minute and a half to three minutes to answer reading questions. A clock will appear at the top of the screen warning students when there are only 15 seconds left to answer a question. When taking any of the reading assessments in STAR 360, no materials are required. When taking the STAR math assessment, students should have paper and pencil to work out problems. No calculators are allowed during the assessment. For students in grades seven and up, if a calcula calculator or a formula sheet is required for a question, they will appear on the computer screen. If a student is taking the STAR Early Literacy Assessment, students will need headphones as the program will talk to the students throughout the assessment. Lastly, remember that the STAR 360 assessments do not count as a grade. They provide your child's teacher with information that will assist them in making educational decisions for your child. Your child may be exposed to material they do not know. Encourage them to do their best and then move on. Have your child get a good night's sleep the night before, eat a good breakfast that morning, and provide them a quiet place to take their assessment. And lastly, the best help you can give your child is no help. If you have any further questions about the assessment, feel free to reach out to your child's teacher. Thank you for allowing me to have this time with you today and have a great day.